in the bathroom. Yeah. No, I'm not doing the PP dance. Oh, but I, I didn't start filming when I started, but that's all right. I got plenty more to do, but here's what I've done. Put some two by four studs in there. Got this thing all mounted in there nice and such. Got this all mounted in there nice and such. And then now, and I've got all the uh, hardware and stuff on, I can't figure out how this hose hangs up on here. It don't fit to this little hole. So I don't know what to do. I'm just going to buy a little sticky thing, maybe. So let me turn this light on, guys. Now, I knew this plumbing was never right. And I started to put the cedar all the way around, but you can see I never put it there. So I'm going to go scrounge through the piles. We're going to finish this off. I'm going to also put trim across it. Kind of like that, but I don't think that big, though. I don't know. But I need to get this thing finished once and for all. Also, pull all this crap out of here that I was patching little air holes. Finish this. Finish this. Get the closet finished. That ain't all going to happen today. I need to pull some of these wires out of the way and insulate above here. Because there is nothing but a cold draft blowing through there. The insulation on that part of the house fell down and there's no way I can get up in there so I'm gonna stuff this off as good as I can I got plenty of insulation left over from the shed build and I went ahead and replaced this line instead of having an elbow here we just made a big sweep and if you can get away with doing that with pecs good and there's no leaks whatsoever now I bought put new fittings on uh, the shower, when you touch the shower, it does not jiggle no more. The only thing I hate is I, I couldn't find the new, that sketching thing to go to that. So I don't know, maybe I'll come across it. it ain't, ain't too hard to fix that. Or I'll just paint it. But anyway, I'm going to go locate some cedar. A few pieces here I'm going to take off. Probably just going to sheetrock the ceiling in here and I'll sheetrock this as well. What I had to do was add another 2x4 across this way. Made sure that was level and then I added two here. So now I got plenty plenty of room to nail uh, a two by or a uh, piece of sheetrock to. And then we'll get all this sealed up in here and hopefully we won't get no more drafts up in there. I'm going to wrap that up really good up in there. Because there's no getting up in there now. I mean you can see where the insulation fell that's where there's a pitch to the roof and it was up there and it it fell a long time ago I don't know there's nothing I can do about it but I can protect this with more insulation you can see I take old clothes I've been stuffed up in there all right let me get out there and see what I can find put them in all right getting the trim up all I got is three quarter inch board this is a weird thing the way this shower is shaped so uh, I can't have that light on with the because it comes on with the fan I can't hear so now I gotta do is another piece trim there another piece trim there and that's coming out to here like it did here and then we'll we'll figure this out here ah uh, getting it done and I did take that piece and spray painted it black I don't have it on there yet but that will look much better <sighs> I can honestly say, I've been in the bathroom all day. Yep. But we're getting her done. Alright, got her all trimmed out. Looks better than it did. Nothing's perfect. If I would have started this, put this tub in today, I'd have probably done it some other different way. So, I think that's as far as I'm going with that. It's cedar, so you can't put anything untreated in here. So, cedar has done well for many years and will continue to do well. Well, it looks all right. Man, it's just a shower. It ain't like you're going to have, you know, people over for dinner and sit in your shower. It works for me. Let me put that back on. And uh, I'm, I'm totally out of cedar. So I don't know what else. See what I can scrounge up for this. But I do need to get some insulation up in there. But it's getting late. I'll see where I get. All right. I could never get that stupid sprayer to fit in this thing here. It just doesn't fit, man. So two screws work. Yeah, 
when I need it, it's right there. You know, hey, if I want to use that one, I can use that one. If I want to use that one, I can use that one. I don't know. Let's turn this dude. Oh, well, I got a towel in there. Let me get this on and we'll turn it on. Make sure we ain't got no leaks. All right, here we go. I don't remember which one was on last. That one. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Boy, did I get that shower dirty. You can switch to either one. I'm sure everybody's got that kind of shower nowadays. I'm way behind in the times. Oh, the hot water is so good now. I barely had hot water before because it was all messed up. Wow, it's that hot. All right, I don't see it leaking there. I don't see anything leaking there or there. Finally, I can button this thing up, but it's getting late. I ain't going to be able to get to the sheetrock today, but I'm not coming out. I'm not doing anything else till this bathroom's done. Let me go get some insulation for tonight. I got some foam I saved from packagings. You know, it's still foam. I'll stub that in some of these corners. Uh, all right, let's go get some shots of them dogs and stuff. Make a video out of this silliness. Uh, that's some shampoo up there in the corner. 99 cents. Suave. That's how you know it's good stuff, man. It's from France. Suave. When your hair's as short as mine, you don't use that much. And I've been cooking all day, even though I've been working all day. Yeah, man. That means God, I got me a big old roast in the crock pot. Let's see. I put it in about nine. And it's about three. Won't be long. Till that stuff's in my bee. Bee for belly. Well, taters are done. Yeah, man. Those are just secondary potatoes. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes, too. Alright. Try to go to five or six before I eat. If it ain't nothing, I'm starving. Well, it looks like we got a tilly over on the other side of the fence there. And of course we got a rooster. They all just ate. And there's brother. What are you doing, Waldo? Where's Lily? It's about her nap time, isn't it? You guys always eat or sleep after after supper. You've already had your milk bone. You've already had it. The next treat is six o'clock tonight, and that'll be a hot dog. But you ain't getting them right now. You can lay back down, Tilly. It's like every their whole life is about treats. Especially that one. With the wiggling nose. Alright, I got some airtight containers. I think there's ten of them. They look bigger on Amazon. But they're fine. And I'm going to start buying the hell out of beans and pasta. And rice. And I got some Mylar bags that you put it in. Inside here. And it keeps them uh, preserved for a long time. Because I think we're going to start having all them food shortages again. And I'm not going through that again. I'm going to make sure I'm stocked. Yep. All right, there's plenty of insulation left over there. Uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I, I can only work so many hours and my back just starts killing me. And then the next day I'm fine. But I also got these foam pieces. Uh, there's another piece where I can put that I will but that's your best bet right there big old six inch four inch whatever it is styrofoam uh, haven't been in here to do anything again you know to me this isn't priority uh, but what I do have to think about is buying an air conditioner for summer but that's a ways off which means I will have to run some power no big deal this whole thing is probably going to be run with power anyway. But right about where Lily's standing there, I got to start digging. There's a pole on the other side of that wall, power pole. And it has an available breaker. So I can run, or I can run from the patio there. I'll just come off one of them outlets. Uh, but I really don't, 
I don't know. I think that's going with the outlet for that air conditioner. So I only got 100 amp service here. So I got to watch, you know, in the summer, I want to have, if I'm in here working, I got to run all three of them, which should be fine. Uh, I'm not too overloaded with stuff. But it shouldn't take a whole lot to cool this in, down in here. And I even thought of getting another another pole put up with, with extra service. Because I think it would cost me too much to convert to 200 amp. I don't know. Something worth checking into. But I wouldn't mind having, you know, this whole thing with electric and the shed over here. But, you know, I got all them power boxes. Hey, we'll make do. We'll make do. I gotta get some WD-40 put on that door. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my tools. I gotta bring my saws all that in. So, I'll catch up with you on the next one. We'll see where I, how much work I get done then. I ain't no hurry to get nothing done. I, ain't, I sure ain't doing them for YouTube videos. But when I do do them, I'll bring you along. Happy trails. And I did start on this. See, there's the rakes. Started raking it all up. Yeah. Gotta load that up in the truck and get it out of here. I don't know how I said it jumped. But, uh, this is a pretty good spot. Put something. Who knows? <laughs>